the Up Up Coast studios in Oklahoma City. This is an OSU update. I'm Jenny Carlson. Bedlam is back. The Cowboys and the Sooners meet on the hardwood for a second time this year. John Helsley joins us on the phone. And John, Cowboys won round one in gallagher -Iba. Can they win round two in uh, Lloyd Noble on Wednesday? Good question. You know, this has not been uh, a situation where the Cowboys are used to sweeping this thing. They haven't won in Norman since 2004. But, uh, you know, the way, if you look at both teams right now, the Cowboys are, are, are playing better. Um, they're playing with a little bit of a, a nod to the future. Uh, the Sooners have lost six in a row. And so you look at it in what two months ago you would have thought maybe Oklahoma was having the better season. All of a sudden you look at this game and you say, hey, OSU can go in there and win. Definitely. Haven't had much road success this year, John, won at Texas Tech. But you, you wrote a little bit in your uh, Monday Insider about how Travis Ford has revamped some things to try to get his team maximum effort, to give them maximum energy. Talk a little bit about that and how that might play into what they do on Wednesday night. This is a team that I think kind of ran into the wall a little bit, especially after the Kansas game where they had to expend so much energy in the second half, kind of in a pride moment there to come back and, and, and not just get hammered again uh, like they had been earlier in the year at Baylor. And so I think at, the, at Missouri it showed they were kind of uh, dead legs. And then uh, Travis basically decided he was going to give this team some rest, give them some breaks from practice. He was going to really force a lot of treatment, stretching, get in the cold tubs, which some guys hate. But uh, it, it looked good Saturday. The guys played with a lot of energy and a lot of passion. I think the home crowd helped. But uh, I think you're going to see him try and find moments in bits and pieces, practicing games to kind of get allow these guys to kind of finish this season. Can, is that something they can do long term, John? Because it, you know, he he really uh, shortened practices almost to nothing. They didn't do shoot around on game day. I mean, can that be a long term thing, or is that just a, a a situation by situation as he sees the fatigue in his guys? I think he'll try and interject some of that throughout the week but not on a regular basis. I can't see Travis Ford not practicing. That's <laughs> not really who he is. Um, but I think he does recognize that, you know, if I'm going to play five guys 30-plus, some guys 36-plus minutes in a game, uh, I'm going to have to relent a little bit. And, you know, give him credit. He listened to his players last week, and, uh, and it paid off for him on Saturday. All right. Thanks, John. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.